In a world full of routine, two degenerates emerge to remind us to embrace life. Krista and Jason aren't the cruisers we need or deserve, but they are here anyway. They're just soulmates with a GoPro, a moderate tolerance for alcohol, and a thirst for fun. Let's celebrate the day. What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? Back for more, are you? <laughs> <laughs> So today, if you watched Alan Genie's channel, you would know what to drink we're gonna do today. Right? Because we got called out. Didn't they, they called us out. They're friends of ours and they called and us they out. they called us out. Right, so uh, ah. on uh, The Breeze, on their sea day, uh, they, and, and if you're not uh, subscribed or uh, watching uh, Adventures through, Cruising Through Life. Cruising Through Life with, with Alan, Alan Genie. Genie. Alan Genie, you may know from the, uh, what was it we did? The remedy? Uh, I I don't remember, but we were very happy We had them over the house after day. they got out, and uh, we had a really good time with them. Love their uh, vlogs, and love them as people even more. So uh, I'll leave She's a link so down funny. below. Go watch their Breeze vlogs, because they're a hoot. Yes. And uh, so they're sitting there on their sea day, having a drink, and he has the Jamaican sunrise in hand, and he says, Jason, I challenge you to... Uh -huh. So, Chris and Jason are here, too. Challenge accepted. That was a tough one. You really called us out on that. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So thanks, Hal and Jeannie, for the suggestion. We appreciate it, guys. And uh, the Jamaican Sunrise, uh, I have no freaking clue why it's called Jamaican Sunrise. Like a tequila None. sunrise, I get it. It's tequila. Tequila's from Mexico. Malibu Sunrise. Malibu, you know, the sunrise uh, the, is basically an orange juicy sort of base drink. But it, at any rate. It seems like it's like the sunrise portion is very similar throughout the Malibu Sunrise, the Jamaican Sunrise, and the Tequila it. Sunrise. It's just one's rum, one's vodka, and one's tequila. So if I said I was gonna make you a drink called the Jamaican Sunrise, what would you think the ingredients were? Rum. Rum, right, Jamaica, Not rum. So it's much. freaking vodka. <laughs> so is there a Jamaican vodka? Is this a, is this a, is this a Poland Sunrise, a Russian Sunrise? I don't know, because every- Finland Sunrise? We, we, we've been searching, and everybody's using like, they're all over the board on the vodka. Um, yeah, the uh, name Jamaican Sunrise is synonymous with a <clears throat> style of drink, and it typically is going got to... got a friend. So he's going to have uh, issues in a minute. So typically it's going to have vodka knows. in it. I have no idea why they call it Jamaican Sunrise. If you know that, then comment down below and, and help me out because I, I can't figure out for the life of me why it's called Jamaican Sunrise. I don't, I don't even think it's because they, it's on a cruise to Jamaica. I mean, if they were on a cruise, they were to Jamaica, on their way to Cozumel. I know, <laughs> I know, right? So I mean, well, none just, of it it's makes on the, it's on the menu. It's, it's on all the menus, and it's known as a Jamaican sunrise. So the ingredients go, or the uh, description on the menu says: take it slow with sky vodka, peach schnapps, red passion fruit, orange and cranberry juice. So maybe if some of those juices are made in Jamaica, we could maybe make a link or whatever. But did they uh, grow passion fruit there? I have no idea. We, maybe we should have done better research, but we, we hey, should go to Jamaica. And you find deserve better, but you get us. Honey, we need to go to Jamaica and oh, yeah. figure out the truth of this. This is like the first time we've had this conversation, right? right? <laughs> so, <laughs> Jamaican uh, cruise coming. We're gonna shoot for the recipe of uh, that I've just basically taken those ingredients off of that description and made a drink that's probably coming gonna come in somewhere around nine to eleven percent. That seems to be the typical. Uh, for a carnival drink. So we're gonna shoot for an ounce and a half of vodka. I'll throw the recipe up here. I'm gonna mix while he, well, do you wanna talk about our vodka selection? Uh, we have vodka. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we do have a selection. Yeah, you don't see Sky, um, so immediately, once again, we'll freaking <coughs> depart from the recipe yeah. because I'm not gonna. There are so many vibe. vodkas out there that it's really hard to choose which one. Up until recently, we weren't vodka people. Um, we have become vodka people. Um, so we have Grey Goose, um, seems to be the front runner right now, um, Belvedere, oh, that might be, nope, that might be the front runner, and then Grey Goose is second. And then we have, from the St. Augustine Distillery, which we visited several weeks ago, um, we have... With two super cool people. Yeah, Man, we're like Tom name droppers Rhonda. today. Tom and Rhonda, thank ah! you, thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, yeah. um, we've got uh, vodka from the St. Augustine Distillery. So if you get a chance, it's a free tour, go and check out the St. Augustine Distillery on your way to your cruise ship in Florida. Beautiful place, you get to try some free shots, you get to try... The booze it, was good there too. Yeah, and it I mean, was really good. We're not gin people, so, so we're still not gin people after we no. left there, but everything no. else we tried, their bourbon and... Uh, be a name dropper again we, uh, when uh, Amanda and Roy shows yeah. came out. We, uh, oh my gosh, we you're going to have to link all over the place right. on this I'll video. get to you in a minute, Josh and Michelle. Right. Tony and Sharon and Jamie. 
Griffin and Alyssa, <laughs> the Claykowskis, and is there anybody I'm missing? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Hey, you know, you, you. It's it's the cruise life. You, you can tell. You can judge yourself by the company you keep. And right. There's, there's an old saying that says uh, something along the lines of, "If you want to know what your future looks like, look at your friends." I like our friends. And I am totally down with my future. <laughs> I right. Woo! So anyway, let, let's let's get to mixing this damn thing. Okay. Uh, I'll go so over which the booze. Vodka do we want to use? Um, feel free to choose. I know you're curious about that Saint Augustine, so I'm very curious about that's the Saint Augustine. That's why I took the wrapper off of it. That's so awesome. I don't okay. remember if we tried that while we were there. Oh, we did. Oh, did we? Yes, we did. Was it in one of their mixed drinks? Yes, it uh, was. Tom and Rhonda, correct me if. Uh, I think this was the one mixed with their ginger beer. Okay. Anyway. All right. So the booze in a Jamaican Sunrise. We're gonna shoot for an ounce and a half of vodka and one ounce of peach schnapps. The rest is all juice, so the one and a half ounce of vodka is gonna come in at 40 proof, and uh, one ounce of uh, the peach schnapps is going to come in at 21% ABV, and that's going to, with about six ounces of mixers, if we do the math on the two, uh, or on the juices, we have an ounce of passion fruit juice, an ounce of orange juice. We just went to the grocery store, and your passion fruit juice selection is pretty low. All we found was Welch's. So maybe with a little proper prior the, planning. And we, it's the biggest grocery store in our area too. Yeah. But anyway, you're going to get what you get unless you special order or go to specialty places. And then a half ounce of cranberry juice because cranberry juice is pretty potent. So that's where we're going to start. And we got little baby cranberries because we don't drink the cranberry yeah, juice. Yeah, we kept throwing unless, out half a gallon yeah, of cranberry juice. Yeah, it's getting so ridiculous. We're, we're getting smarter as we go. Right? And so all of that comes in with six ounces of mixers and the uh, two and a half ounces of uh, varying ABV booze. We should be looking at about a 9.5% drink. As the At the hit, it's going to come in around 11. So without any dilution, we are going to mix it in the Donnelly and grab a little dilution right out of the gate. So we will see. Now, compared to uh, one of our last drinks was a rum and coke. We didn't do the bourbon last week because we rambled on for a freaking hour. So anybody that made it through that whole hour, I appreciate it. And we, we covered a lot and that was a fun journey for us. But a rum and coke would come in at about 5.7%. Uh, seven, one ounce of rum, uh, six ounces of that, of the coke, and bada bing, you're at a 5.7%. Uh, now, at this 9.5% drink, if it's a $9.50 drink, which it is on the ship, it's going to cost you about $1 per ABV. So if you're looking for the value in a drink, it's a better value than a rum and coke, and it's a better value than the beer, which we normally compare everything with, which is $1.45 since the price went up. $1.49, $1.45 before the price jump. So $1.49 per ABV on a beer and only a dollar on this drink. So pretty good value as far as booze in a drink. Right? <clears throat> One thing I've learned is the more you shake, the more your ice cubes dilute, which is diluting the alcohol, um, but it gets the drink colder too. Because see how frosty this is? It's actually kind of cool, but it's really hot outside too. Uh, we're gonna need to add more cranberry. Al's drink was redder. Yeah. Okay, so on drink two, we add more cranberry. Yep. So we're going to need to up the cranberry and, a bit. And because we don't have red passion, that might be an issue as well. Yeah, we're probably not exactly right on our <coughs> juice selection, but we're going to make do. This looks a lot like the Remedy, actually, the one we, we mixed with them. Yeah. It certainly smells nice. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, I can't hardly really taste the cranberry in it, but it could. Mm. It's, it's maybe a little on the sweet side. So stick with this recipe if you like it sweeter. Don't mind the color doesn't match, but that's a pretty good drink. Yeah, and the, the red passion fruit may have an issue, um, may have something to do with it. Yeah, you get what you get. But this is really good. <laughs> we stumbled across, to, uh, across a decent drink here. <clears throat> Anytime um, you mix vodka and there's orange juice somewhere in there, you got a winner. Because yeah, like take the screwdriver, which is basically just those two, right? Yeah. And that drink goes back to like the beginning of alcohol. Yeah, but that's really not a tropical juice. Um, I think the passion fruit really adds a tropicalness to this drink. I mean, this is this is really a tropical drink. It is pretty nice. This is very nice. Okay, so 
it's it's really hot out here. Um, and and I, I don't know. We gonna drink this drink and yeah, be you, back in twenty. You know the drill. Drink the drink. Be back in twenty for the uh, the blowy part. The blowy part. <laughs> And um, as you can see, because it's orange juice, this is my uh, cheat day. So it's game on um, with the carbs. Yeah, we'll see what next week holds, but this week. Yeah, this week it's game on and I'm fitting into my fours, so I'm feeling good. Ready? I'd like to fit in your fours too. Okay. <laughs> we'll catch you all in Maybe bed. later. Bye. Welcome back. So delicious. I don't think we nailed the color because no. our juice is a little off. It should be a red passion fruit, which um, because we're last minute there's we didn't nail that. No. So uh, we'll see about adding more cranberry to it's it. It's actually this color. Yeah, it's not really red at all. So, so there's I no think red. We're close to probably what the drink tastes like, although I haven't had the drink, so full disclosure, I don't know what the freaking drink tastes like, but we do accept a challenge. We don't back down. No. No. No, degenerates are obnoxious. So let's let's make another one. Okay, I'm mix I'm mixing. Um, we blow. did the St. Augustine last time. Do you want to try the difference of like this? Um, so we have more of the Great Goose than we do the Belvedere. Do you want to? Makes do no that? difference to me. I want to do Great Goose because I'm reading this book series, and you know how I always read books. I read a lot of books. Um, anyway, one of the guys drinks Great Goose in this. So. Point oh seven. Point oh. Point oh seven. Really? I thought you were. Uh, man, you're hitting it on that one. No, it's an ounce and a half of vodka. Oh, okay, sorry. Never mind. So I'm doing two. I just follow the recipe. I'm not that drunk. Not that drunk. I'm not that drunk. One ounce of peach schnapps per drink. I can pour. Let's see, one. My recipe's about ready to fly away. Might have been a little overpour on that one. Oh well, it'll bounce out. Mm-hmm. It was just a little baby overpour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> passion fruit juice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I'm, I got my passion. Passion, one ounce. Go oh, two ounces. Two ounces of passion. I really like the passion fruit juice, honey. I, I, I didn't realize, um, am I getting the shit all over me? I didn't realize passion fruit juice was so nummy. I mean, I've had it when we went to Hawaii, but. Oh, I, I know. Passion, passion orange, orange guava. guava. Hey, wait, guess, who, guess who had Pog without you this week? <gasps> Are you freaking serious? No, it wouldn't be me that did that. That I is not cheat on you accepted. like you did with me with the Sharon at Sea live. I did see? cheat on you. You see how I collected the name drop in there again? Yeah, you're doing it. I did <laughs> cheat on you. Um, now you, we did a half ounce per drink. Uh, now we're going to go up to an ounce a drink and see. Um, so, okay. I'll throw the revised recipe up. Um, if you don't like it tart, stay at that half ounce because cranberry juice can be quite concentrated. You can catch you by the boo boo. Okay. Passion orange. Yeah, I got it. Off you go. Off I go. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake your, your booty. booty. Oh! Shake, shake your, your booty. booty. Wait a minute, I can't get the lid on. Oh, never mind. Hold up on the shake. Yeah, there's no shake yet. Don't shake, shake, shake. Okay. Don't shake, shake, shake. Okay, now shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Uh, you can't see that. I saw everything. You did. Did you like it? <laughs> We've been married for 30 years. You know the answer to that. <laughs> okay, so we're getting closer on the color. Yep, I think uh, the red passion fruit juice would be key to the color. Yeah. But it does have a pronounced passion flavor to it, even with the ingredients being grape, apple, and then passion juice. Are you fucking kidding no, me? No, that's Welch's. They're, they're always trying to make something that's approachable, so it's it's difficult to find straight up passion fruit juice. And this was the only passion fruit in the entire, uh-oh. Yeah, you thought you were gonna get off the hook up in this bitch. I was about ready to take me a little drinky poo. Oh. Right? I should, just, I should just cut it off. Uh, yeah, let's skip that plan.
Uh oh. 0. 0.09. Now, oh. full disclosure, uh, our poor little breathalyzers, <laughs> it's been struggling lately. I don't I feel mean, a 0. 0.09. For, for 18, well, I bet you if you did it again, you wouldn't blow a 0. 0.09. Okay. And I'll bet you after this drink, you may find yourself below 0. 0.09. Oh. So, full disclosure, Mr. Blood Alcohol Content has probably had too much air blown through him. Either that and or he may so, have been I mean, dropped. what do you want? It's 18 bucks on Amazon. So, you know. Yeah. Lord, how many, I don't even know how many drinks we've done. Uh, and how many people have blown into this because it's fun. Yeah. It's like getting out of hula hoop. Everybody's got to try it, right? <laughs> right. Although he was completely sober and blew a point. I yeah, mean, that's like, I, that was totally my suspicion. Totally sober, that, like nothing drank in 24 hours. I tested it before hours. we started the camera and it did come up as point oh, point zero zero on the, 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 the control. And I came up as point oh zero zero last was I don't remember the last drink we did. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? Like two hours later, I don't know. What are you doing? Sorry, lost What's my wrong train with of you? thought there. Cheers. Cheers, beaches. Okay, so we're gonna drink this, and then um, we'll be back. But the yeah, clouds are coming in. I don't know. Tad, we might have to finish this A tad more this tart, inside. but this is very, very doable. So if you don't like sweet drinks, stick with no, that ounce of cranberry. See, that's because you don't, you're not over an overly sweet drinker. Overly drinker of sweets, sweet right. drinker of over. I'm very over sensitive drinking to sweet, sweet right now. A, 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 a drinker of non-sweet, sweet drinking no. I'm not a Let bitter me do person. <laughs> you sweet drinks you shall not. <laughs> okay, so some of the really sweet drinks I do have a problem getting down um, because they're actually too sweet and I'm like a sugar fiend, but um, yeah. Yeah, and it's odd for a bourbon guy and a beer guy to like sweet drinks, but like some of the first stuff I'll order when I get on a ship is going to be like a Miami Vice or a Pina Colada or something right? sweet. It's just, they, that's that vacation thing, man. And and I want um, a cocktail. I don't want like something bottled, prepared. Oh, we were in an interesting factoid last night. Um, we were watching a YouTube. Mr. Ferdinand's? Fred's. Fred's. Fred, Na Fred, anyway. Fred's um, bar. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put his link down. It's, it's, he's hilarious, but... Uh, he's right? a bartender and he owns a bar somewhere. I don't even actually know. We just started watching him last night. But he says that the uh, uh, drink with uh, carbonated beverage as the, uh, the, the whatever you want to call the it. The mixer. The mixer would be uh, make you cons make the alcohol absorb faster into your body than a drink with juice. So I don't know if you guys knew that. I didn't know that. But I didn't know that. And so I don't know if rum and it's coke or, or a bourbon or... and coke is going to absorb into your system and yield the uh, the effects of the alcohol are going to come on quicker than if you were doing a juice as a mixer drink. Well, that would explain by the end of by the end of drink 2, I'm fucking hammered compared to drink 1 where I'm on juice. Feeling, you? Yeah, on juice. Are you juice. on the juice? I'm on the juice. She's on the juice. <laughs> where I, at the end of drink 1, starting drink 2, I'm feeling pretty normal, but by the end of drink 2, I'm not so normal. So the, the you know, my uh, as I uh, try to deduce this Thanks. out to logic that makes sense in my brain. I'm thinking a person that drinks bourbon neat versus a, in the same amount of period of time as a person that has a, a bourbon and coke. Right. The person that has the bourbon and coke is going to come in higher or have more effects of alcohol in their system than the person that drank it neat. Okay, I'm sorry, but does anybody else think bourbon neat sounds funky? So sorry. <laughs> it sounds funny. I'm pretty sure YouTube's got my back on this one. It sounds funny. Neat bourbon? Yeah. <laughs> sounds like my mom talking. That's super neat, Jason. Right. <laughs> That's just bitching. <laughs> gets totally gagged me with a spoon. Oh my god. That was our generation, certainly right? not my mother. Um, but no, um, because it just sounds funny. You don't hear neat coming no, out of people's a, mouths anymore. I think it's a it's a strictly for people that are in the appreciation of liquor where they would know what the term neat meant. Okay, I am definitely starting to feel drink one. Nice. I don't know. Yeah, I'm in heels because I'm tired of being shorter than you and having... So I put... The full disclosure, show them these heels you've got on in Florida. That's not funny. But this is hilarious. And Chris is good sport. It's they're, flip flop they're heels. They're flip flop heels. <laughs> I gotta have flip flops. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. So it's made me an inch and a half taller. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ, you're freaking adorable. You know that? <laughs> I love you. Alright, so. Okay, uh, so we're gonna drink this. Drink this. And then we'll be back. Wait 20. Blue. Bye. Welcome back. What's up? <laughs> oh, boy. So, what'd you, what'd, you, what'd you think of the Jamaican sunrise? It's a. Fucking sneaky joint. It's a sneaky. 
It is a little sneaky. I'm really extra. Well, I mean, uh, full disclosure, that's uh, three ounces of vodka, 40 proof, and uh, two ounces of uh, peach schnapps at 21 proof. So right? That's a pretty substantial drink. Good money's worth. <laughs> Uh, delicious though, right? Uh, e easy drinker. Yummy! Right? Yummy, yummy. I got my goldfish. Should we get down to business? Do I have more stuff? I brought you these. I thought you might enjoy them. What are those? Maple wafers. I'll get rid of goldfish mouth first. This says 0 0.12 and it started beeping early. That's <laughs> because you're over the limit. Nah, I think it's because our poor little BAC is having issues. Oh well, anyway. I actually have to say I, I reject this... your reality and uh, mm. insert my own. Okay, but I, I actually have to say I think this is the most intoxicated I've been after a drink. So. Really? It should be not the case, being a Cucumber Sunrise has more alcohol. I'm sorry, but I think this is the most intoxicated I've been. So how's my evening gonna go? Oh! 0. 0.07. So you are not intoxicated by blood alcohol. So like I said, I think the uh, the poor little blood no, alcohol- No, it, it fell off. For some reason. I know, mine, mine beeped early. It was like, oh yeah, I'm done testing. We're, we're good here. I, I'm, um, I'm over I'm, a, um, based on previous readings, I'm over a point one two. Oh, Oh, you're going to do a double dip, huh? All right. I can't do it anymore. Hey, if you guys haven't tried uh, Terrapin's Luau. Okay, that makes more sense. It's pretty yummy. I told you I was no, above a point one. That does not two. make sense either. You are not a point one five. I'm fucked up. No, a point one five would I think would be like ninety nine for you. I'm ready for it. Oh, okay. So there you go. I made. Oh, I took my shoes off, and now I'm short again. Okay, so see, whoop! Yeah, there you go. I'm tall again. Taller. Good job. I'm yeah. This. You don't want to try the, uh, I brought these back from United. Okay, what do they taste ma like? Maple, if you like maple. Oh, you probably don't know because you didn't open it. I, I did can't. not. Can you open it? Yeah. I can't open Look, it. Look, it has this little slot right here. I got sweaty hands because it's humid out. Sorry, they might not be in full pieces anymore because it rode around from Hawaii and back from Hawaii. In my oh, snap. These are fucking good. <laughs> they are good, right? These are good. Okay. I got maple wafers from United. They are super nummy. And you can have a small uh, three quarter ounce bag for uh, $450 too. Honey, you need more? Oh, I don't <laughs> want you to get more of these right. from United, but I want more of these. I'll save them as I get them. Normally it's uh, four pretzels in a little tiny bag. I wonder if this, we should find maple wafers. It says right there who makes it, birds. Birds. B R Y R D S. Okay, oh so uh, uh, Jamaican Sunrise. Although we have no idea why it's called the Jamaican Sunrise, it's a pretty decent drink, right? Yes, it's very good and it's really powerful. It is. It's relatively potent. It comes in at that mm -hmm. 9.7 mark, like we did the math on earlier. And uh, yeah, I would have one on the ship. Uh, you won't see it a lot on a lot of the menus. I, I mm -hmm. struggled. I found it on one of the pictures I'd taken on, uh, I think it was the Red Frog Rum Bars thing. Probably. And then, uh, I, I, or the Piano Bar is where I found it on the menu. Oh. And it's also on some of the Red Frog Rum Bar menus. But you won't, it, it's one of them uh, not really hard, easy to find on a menu sort of drinks. So, good no. drink. Hey, order one. Let them make it for you. Um, I... I think I prefer drinks that are more at the four to six level. Um, for me. There you go. <laughs> for, oh shit, I finished that. For me, that it's a little easier to handle. It doesn't. Um, well, I mean, we're trying to make one minute a... I was fine and talking and the next minute I was like, need to sit down. 
we're we're trying to cut a video and see what the effects of two of these drinks are so we we do press it along a little bit i can't tell you that this would be the pace we would drink or that krista would drink especially um out oh, in the no. wild you know if oh, we no. were sitting in a bar and they were serving jamaica sunrises as a drink if she would be like all right let's drink this one let's wait 20 minutes let's blow let's drink another one you know no i probably am after the first or second sip of the second drink i probably would have let it sit until it um, melted because um i was feeling the first drink after that after we did the intermission thing um i was this goes back to that weight thing oh wow is is me at 200 pounds and you at like barely pushing 130. 100 whatever you say uh-huh <laughs> uh, uh, what specific gravity planet you're working on but okay so but anyway i've got you by 100 pounds and that makes all the difference in the world when it comes to absorbing alcohol it does and um yeah yeah our phones are like bleep 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 okay yeah so, so jamaica that. sunrise fantastic drink order oh. it on a ship enjoy oh they look like little fish fries oh my gosh they're so cute jamaican sunrise Jamaican sunrise <laughs> whoops spit my car my little baby french fry out see what happens we start off and everything's really easy to edit and we're rolling along and it all makes sense and the storyline's unfolding and then we get to drink two results and it's little tiny french fries <laughs> Jamaican Sunrise is really, really good. I would probably drink it on a regular basis. However, I would definitely need a water or two in between each drink. Yeah, but that's typically what you do on a ship. Typically, I have a drink and then I drink a water so, and then I have a drink. But I might need to have like two waters in between because this one's... But if you're looking for a value per uh, the drink, the cost of the drink and the power of the drink, uh, I would say Jamaican Sunrise is it's, it's a good starter. It's a good power. It's uh, good. It, not an all-day drink. No. You well, would, no, I could probably do this all day. It's just well, I mean, if you were trying to tap I wouldn't out, do 15. Tap out your cheers package on Jamaican Sunrise, nope. it's going to be a long day. And you better be pro-grade. You better bring your A game. There's no way I could tap out on 15 of these. Challenge um, accepted. I'm tapping out on two. Two. Right? So, if you, were, if you had hopes of getting uh, your values worth out of the cheers package on Jamaican Sunrises, you'll probably end up in bed before that happens. Nope. Thank God for, for that. that room service that delivers pizza. Yes. Ooh, pizza. <laughs> Look at you. We're like all responsible <laughs> adults. We don't eat pizza. We don't eat carbs. We're trying to watch our figures. And then we have two Jamaican Sunrises and it's, it's a little amazing. tiny french fries and freaking pizza. Oops. <laughs> we got the Katy Perry turned up. Yeah. I probably should take these shoes off because they're, I might fall down. Well, you have like a whole two inches less to fall. If I know, but I could hurt my ankle. Okay. I'll take my shoes off. No, oh, that is a big difference. <laughs> it is. It really is. Okay. You guys have a great weekend. Or week, or whatever or week, day you're watching or this. Whatever. You guys ha celebrate the day. <gasps> Shit, I broke my french fries. <laughs> All right. Uh, celebrate the day. Celebrate the day. Love y'all. Much love. Bye. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go out on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.